Mina-san, Ocarina Sai, today, one of my absolute favorite people. She's actually a big reason why I'm into Seiyuu idols to begin with. The actual perfect idol, a singer, dancer, actress, and model. Hinata Sato, born December 23rd, 1998, in Niigata Prefecture, but moved to Kanagawa when she was three. Affiliated with Amuse Inc. But I also saw a source say that she was born in Yamagata Prefecture and two years later moved to Niigata, where she lived until she was in the third grade. However, on the Amuse website, it says that she's from Niigata. So I think the first places I mentioned are the correct story. She started performing while she was in kindergarten. At the age of eight, she was a child actress for very large companies, like Olympus, Tokyo Gas, and McDonald's. She joined Amuse in 2008 when she was in fifth grade. In April of 2010, she successfully auditioned for the idol unit Sakura Gakuin. She graduated from the unit in March of 2014, as all members graduate from the group upon graduating middle school. Deciding that she did not want to continue being an idol, she participated in a few theater plays, as well as several TV programs before breaking into the world of voice acting. She voiced Rin Karasawa, a major character in the anime Kutsudaru. She formed the unit Mabarashi Love with the other three cast members, and they released the single Merry Go World for the anime. She would then do multiple stage plays performing as Cynthia in The Goodbye Girl. These were all performed at the Tokyo International Forum in 2015, and then portrayed the character Alice in Stray Sheep Paradise and its sequel. This video will have a different formula than usual since she only has about three or so roles to talk about, so I'm just going to talk about those and the fun facts associated with those franchises and then some other stuff. So let's jump right into it. Hinata is most likely best known for her role as Aliyah Kazuno in the Love Live series, a part of the sister unit Saint Snow, the rivals to the main characters. She was actually around 17 when she first joined. Unfortunately, Saint Snow hasn't really done all that much since their formation. Actually, they haven't done anything in like two years. We can only hope that they will do something again next year with Aqua. But Hinata also voices Juna Hoshimi in Revue Starlight as one of the members of Starlight Kukugumi but she also performs in other Starlight media, including the All Starlight web series, the Re Live video game, and the stage adaptation. Oh, she's also frequently on the Radio Starlight radio show. And just like her character Juna, she wears glasses, though she doesn't really wear them on camera, unless she's in character. In 2019, she joined yet another multimedia franchise known as D4DJ. She performs with the group Photon Maiden with her fellow Kukugumi member Haruki Iwata. She voices Noah Fukushima, by the way. The group used to have its own show called Photon Maiden TV on the D4DJ YouTube channel. This ended last year and has since been taken down, but Hinata was frequently a host, as you might have guessed. And she just loved to give attitude to the producers when they would hand her cards with stuff on it for her to say. In 2020, a mobile game by the name of Project Sakai Colorful Stage came out, and she voiced the character Akiyama Mizuki. She had her first photo book release in September, and the Moi Pina radio show began as well which features her alongside the person I would call her best friend, her fellow Kukugumi member, her fellow D4DJ member, and her fellow Love Live member, Moika Koizumi. The fans have dubbed them Moipina, hence the show name. Hina has said that Moipi would help her find the right route to take to get back home, and would always wait for her so they could leave together. She always helps guide her like a big sister. Finally for this year, she was in the Cutie Honey stage play, Cutie Honey Climax, playing Jumper Honey, and she looks absolutely lovely in this outfit. 2022, Hinata joined Pretty Derby as KS Miracle. Her first live performance with the group will actually be in January of next year. She was also in Healer Girl as Girl in episode 12. Something I actually recommend, the four leads have formed a Seiyuu unit, so if you're into that, check them out. The last thing for this year is something a little different, kind of a photo book, but more of a photo project. The Joyu project to be exact. I honestly don't even know what it is, just some cool Mad Max style warrior thing featuring a bunch of seiyuu, like Hinata, Anchan, and Shika from Love Live, as well as Teru Ikuta from Review Starlight. Aside from voicing in anime and video games, as well as their live versions, she still does non-anime related stage plays as well as television series. She was at Aqua's 3rd, 4th, and 5th lives with Saint Snow, as well as the Love Live 9th Anniversary Festival in 2019. And Saint Snow even had their own solo live in October of 2020. Aside from that, she has appeared at Animax Musics a few times with Starlight Kukugumi, and also at the Animelo Summer Festival, with Kukugumi and with Photon Maiden last year. And of course, she's been at every D4DJ Fest and basically all the Revue Starlight stage plays. I'm actually going to give you some song recommendations now for each of her groups. Self Control for Saint Snow, Four Challenges for Photon Maiden, and The Star Knows for Revue Starlight. The live versions are definitely the ones you want to check out, especially for that last one. Her acting is phenomenal. So moving on to some fun facts about her. She is 159 centimeters or 5 foot 3, which I feel like is actually short. I thought she was much taller than this. Her social media includes Twitter and Instagram. 
She is fairly active on both of them. She was trying to get the check mark on Twitter for like a solid year, always tweeting about wanting it, and at one point she even tweeted out to Elon Musk when he was going to buy out the company. She goes by two nicknames, Hina Hina or simply Hichan, but she also gave herself the nickname Hina. Hichan has been learning English for many years now and translates some of her social media posts to English. Apparently she's even won awards for her skills. You can find videos of her speaking English on her Twitter and here on YouTube. She has two dogs, Ribbon and Hana. She is an only child but thinks of her dogs as her little sisters. She has her own variety show called Hinata-chan of Sato-san House. Her last name is apparently tied for being the most common family name in Japan, along with Suzuki. There's some kind of joke here about a Suzuki and a Sato both being in the second generation of Love Live. She is terrified of frogs, or disgusted by them, or both. When Moika got her pet frog, Hinata was there and she was not having a good time. She claims she doesn't play video games often because she is not good at them, but she does own a Nintendo Switch just in case her friends want to play with her. I assume something casual and peaceful like Animal Crossing. So before I continue, keep in mind Hinata has been an idol for a decade at this point, so some of these facts may have changed over time. Her profile lists her hobbies as reading, her special skill being hula, her favorite foods are gummies and her mother's cooking. A place she wants to visit is New York and she cannot read sheet music. She loves wearing high heels and is a fan of both One Piece and Haikyuu. She is well known for playing and filming pranks on other members of her projects she is working with, which includes surprising them with her camera or asking them to say something funny within a few seconds. I remember her trying to play a word game with Shuka once and Shuka completely destroyed her and Hinata was very sad. She actually has one of the most iconic infectious laughs in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Hina Hina calls her fans Hina Tomo, which means Hina friends. Is that like the kimono friends? That's cool. She liked collecting pencil cases when she was in school, but also had a big collection of 20 plus backpacks, most of which she would give to her younger cousins. She admires her former fellow Sakura Gakuin member Ayami Muto. Speaking of that group, she was the youngest of her generation of Sakura Gakuin, and even to this day she is the youngest in all of her idol groups. Well, maybe aside from Pretty Derby now, but there's like 30 plus Seiyu in there and I don't know the ages of all of them. Finally, she made an appearance on Masayoshi Oishi and Iri Suzuki's Annie Song cover show, singing Sugar Song and Bitter Step from Blood Blockade Battlefront. So to end off here, Hinata has not yet debuted as a solo artist and she doesn't seem to have any interest in it. Being part of four multimedia groups and doing stage plays on the side, I don't think she really has time for it either. I think her goals are more performer rather than singer. You can argue that's the same thing, but it is a little different. So with that, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and learned something. Please join me in the next one about another little cutie who's been an idol for a decade. I'll leave you with my favorite Hinata moment. Enjoy. Oh, and of course, the full video will be linked down below. <laughs> Shizuka <laughs> <laughs>